As COVID-19 restrictions ease across the country, there are a lot of people starting to venture out and feel safer doing so. And as spring break approaches, families and students are starting to take vacations. As nice as that may seem, it does have health experts worried. News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu has that story tonight for us from Disneyland. Nancy. And Marnie, here in Anaheim, there's a lot of anticipation over the reopening of Disneyland in just a few weeks after a full year of Americans pretty much staying home full time due to the pandemic. Spring break has a lot of people on the move all over the country. Vacations are already underway for a lot of families who are desperate for amusement after a long, dark year. The Manalo family masked up to spend the day at Downtown Disney in Anaheim. Even though there's no rides or anything, to be able to go and experience all the magic is what we wanted. The rides will be back soon. Disneyland hasn't announced an exact date yet, but a reopening is projected for late next month. Capacity will be very limited and for in-state residents only. I like it that it's smaller, that there's less people. I know that it, when they open, it's going to be 15%, but 15% means 12,500 people. Much smaller crowds has hotel operators weighing whether it's worth reopening at the same time. We're just taking it day by day. Uh, we'll just see what happens uh, and plan, but we're optimistically looking forward to opening by uh, the summer at least. In Florida, spring break has park passes already sold out at Disney World for next week. Capacity there is capped at 35%, so passes are pretty much gone through next month. At the beaches, traffic has been heavy all week in Clearwater, with spring breakers continuing to pour in. Hey, South Padre, no place I'd rather be right now, honestly. It's a great time. Meantime, the college crowd has already landed on the beaches of Texas, and even bigger crowds are coming with many schools on spring break next week. This year, we see a lower numbers than previous spring break years. However, we're very happy to see a lot of families coming over and enjoying uh, family time. Families will be contending for beach space with the college kids. Among them, COVID concerns are present, but not prevalent. Honestly, it's probably not the smartest decision, but nothing we can really do about it now. I think it's safe. I think everybody's having a good time and like, I mean, we're outside. I don't think anybody's too close or anything. So. I wouldn't say we're really concerned about it right now, to be honest. I feel like it's pretty much tamed right now. Health experts fear that spring break fever will feel a new surge of COVID-19, allowing the more contagious variants to spread. We very well could, could slide back into a high percentage rate, high hospitalizations and and behind those hospitalizations come death. In the Tri-Cities area of Tennessee, that post-vacation possibility is on the minds of many parents. We still haven't gotten everybody vaccinated or a large enough majority of people vaccinated. And, um, and I, I don't see a whole lot of people wearing masks. Your mindset is now just to try to stay uh, a distance from everybody. But the crowds, yeah, I mean, it, it does, it, it puts a lot of stress and put a lot of pressure on people. Health experts suspect that more vaccinations have spread a heightened sense of safety, but the vast majority of Americans have yet to qualify for shots. And even those who have been vaccinated are warned that full protection does not set in until two weeks after a second dose. Live at Disneyland, Nancy Liu, News Nation.